Hey everyone, it's Brix, and today we're going to attempt the Crayola marker challenge but I'm going to cheat a bit because I'm going to use the a water brush to do this piece because Crayola markers are washable which means they are water soluble so that means that we can use water to um, dilute the colours and make them blend better or have lighter colours in a sense because Crayola markers are very pigmented so I've gone ahead and swatched all the 20 colours that I have. I would have gotten the 50 box, I think it's 50, the one with 50 colours, but the place that I went didn't have that. They only had the 20 coloured ones, which is a shame because I was really excited to get a whole bunch of new markers. But yeah, we just have the 20 coloured one. And today I think I'm going to draw a witch soda and I'm going to colour it in with Crayola markers and um, use this water brush. It's kind of cheating in a way, but I really want to see how um, the effect turns out. So let's get started. Anyway, for those of you who don't know what a witch sona is, it's basically a persona but like in witch form, so it's what you would look like as a witch. This has been a really fun challenge and I'm pretty impressed with the results. Um, Crayola markers are actually really smooth to draw with. And if you have some water lying around, you can actually use it to create lighter colours. So if you have some Crayolas lying around at home that you bought a long time ago or maybe one of your younger siblings have, they really are an alternative to watercolours or markers in a sense that there are lots of colours and you can really have fun with them because they are so inexpensive so you don't have to think twice about using them to your heart's content. 
But yeah, I'm really excited to maybe do another version of my witch sauna, like a digital one or something, where I can include more cool stuff. Because I just wanted to keep this one simple and not very detailed because I didn't think the Crayola had markers would be able to handle that. But I really had a lot of fun. Once again, thank you guys for watching this video. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!